I think a role that uh, a lot of people don't normally see you in. I mean, we see you as the architect of Polkadot. We see you as the leader of a movement, a harbinger of, of, of new technology that's changing the world. But you are, you're also a father. And one day you're going to leave a world behind to your children and to everybody coming up after you. Mm -hmm. What do you hope that world looks like? And how do you hope your contributions to this technology contribute to that world? I mean, I would hope that we, th there is a world to start with, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> so, uh, you know, ideally quite a peaceful one. Yeah. Um, and ideally a, a just one. And I think um, in large part, that's what drives me here. Um, I see uh, power centers as the... Um, as, as, as maybe the, even the, the underlying source of injustice in the world. Mm. When you, where you have arbitrary power, um, injustice seems not far behind. Mm. And so creating power systems, which is really what blockchains are, they govern large amounts of wealth, large amounts of power, that are rules-based, and transparent seems to me to be um, a great systematic way of reducing injustice in the world. Um, simply, basically, by limiting arbitrary power. Hmm. The other sort of companion point, I suppose, is that there's... And maybe something where I feel like I contribute fairly well is is in the, in devising um, the rules for these systems. Like even in even in societies that follow its follow their rules fairly well, if the rules are not well designed, mm. then the societies will not function mm. very well. And they can even um, if the rules like nothing stops rules from being unjust or facilitating injustice. Um, at the end of the day, the rules need to be um, uh, need to be simple enough for people to be able to think about them and ideally reason them from first principles, um, and uh, and and uh, and to be able to check to make sure that the rules are indeed being followed by um, the uh, the the sort of parts of the social machinery that are meant to be following the rules, the civil servants or the politicians or the machines um, that may take over their jobs. Um, and so the, the designing of like good rules-based systems, I think uh, is, is gonna become a very crucial part of, I mean, it's already a crucial part of, of, of civilization, but like I think it's going to be an even more crucial part of civilization as these systems become more sophisticated. Um, and so, uh, you know, I kind of the drive to like design good rules-based systems uh, is uh, is is something that sort of keeps my passion going. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your commitment and your focus. Thank you for sticking around and seeing the, the vision through. Um, I'm sure there's many opportunities for you to just fuck off somewhere, but <laughs> clearly, clearly, you, you know, you're here to, uh, to build something important. Thank you very much for coming on the show as well. We really appreciate you sharing your story with us. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Cheers, Jay. Thanks for inviting me back on. It's been a pleasure.